Hi guys, I'm Brian Aguilar and this is my podcast for art history. <clears throat> I chose to interview a local artist and friend of mine named Mark Milano. Not only is he actively involved in the art of theater and his production company here in Dallas, but he is one talented painter. I can say I own quite a few of his paintings that live in my bedroom and they're quite some piece of work. In his first interview question about what the does he see in the role of visual arts in society today, particularly in his profession, Mark answered with, Visual art role and is always to reflect the heart of humans today. The arts celebrate who we are and at this moment in our evolution as a society. I use my art to show how music touches us deeply and combine it with visual arts to create a memento of our lives. Art is our story. In his second question, new communications and media technologies make imagery almost instantly available. Do you believe that this is having positive or negative influence on your field? Mark answered by saying, Having images so instantly available to me has made my field so much easier. I can research images and photographies quickly and correspond with customers quickly, and if I want to paint a certain type of dog, I can find it easily on the internet. I can also research other artists' styles very easily. In his third question, what popular images do you see that are frequently repeated through your in industry? Mark answered, I use musical theater images a lot. That's because that's my market. Most of my buyers are seeking musical theater paintings. I also use a lot of school mascots just because I've been asked so frequently to. In our society, college mascots are very important to many, so they want paintings to support that. Another example of how visual arts celebrate the norms of current society and trends. In the fourth question, what is one of your favorite visual artists and or what is your favorite style of visual art, Mark answered by saying, My visual artists, my favorite visual artists are Van Gogh, Klimt, Robert Kushner, Asian art, and Tiffany. I use a lot of metallics, which is the influence of Kushner, Klimt, and Asian art. I also use a lot of painting influences like Van Gogh. I don't blend my paints much like Van Gogh did, and I let the eye do that. Tiffany's stained glasses is also a huge influence on me. Many of my paintings are designed to look like stained glass. In a personal question that I asked Mark and myself, how tough was it getting a job in the industry you love? He answered by telling me, getting a job as an artist just kind of happened. I started painting and soon people started biting, buying. I wasn't setting out to be an artist. I was and still am a musician. Now art is the least ha at least half of my income. Now I'm working towards making more of a full-time approach for me, and it takes time to establish yourself. I've been at it 10 years now, and I'm just now getting to where I've had a hard time keeping up with my painting orders. 